Only three episodes left of Arumakun season three, and I'm definitely curious to see how they're going to conclude this season. Really hoping it goes off with a bang and sets us up for a season four, but either way, we're here to check out season three, episode 19, so let's go. We're gonna watch the recap because I have a feeling it might be a little bit different than what we usually get. I think it is, right? I don't think they showed each rank for the characters. Was that supposed... Who was that that just went by like that? Is that supposed to be that guy with the white hair? Because we didn't see him get promoted because, again, we don't really ever see anything of him. <laughs> of course it was, bro. Of course. The happy grandfather, the proud grandfather. Oh, there was one for Alice, too. Did Clara get one? It's probably a song and dance. <laughs> Are they singing? They're around the fire singing, bruh. Knuckle Bone Mountain? Oh, Robin's the host? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we get to spend some time with the instructors. I like this, bruh. Oh, he can't drink alcohol? Why? <laughs> of course he doesn't. <laughs> of course. That's Kalego, bro. There's Balam. He dragged Kalego there, bro. <laughs> he definitely dragged him there, dude. <laughs> of course he was. Dude, that's gonna just annoy Kalego, bro. Give him the heavy stuff, bro. Oh, is he? <laughs> Yo, my man's like the most expensive thing, dude. It's strong too, of course it is. Oh, it's for Balam, not for Kalego? My man's using that straw so he doesn't have to take his mask down. Art of Torture? Oh my. <laughs> Damn, he just insulted him, bro. Isn't that, that's the girl, Momoshiki, right? Or whatever that likes, uh, Kalego. Oh, that's her grandfather. Momonoki, that's her name. Damn, Robin. Oh, he got through! Oh boy. <laughs> but dump, but dump, but dump, huh? Mono Momonoki? Wasn't it opera? No, they were the same. Oh, it was him? When I'm thinking opera, I'm thinking about when they went to school when they went to school together. They're talking about who is Kalego Senpai among all the teachers. It was this guy right here, huh? Does Kalego get along with anybody besides Balam, basically? <laughs> he ain't BFFs, bro. He's just a teacher. Stop, bro. There has to be a limit. There has to be a boundary that you can't cross. <laughs> yeah, adoptive grandson. Oh, man. Season one, bro. Then the cherry blossom. Yes, sir. <laughs> Don't bring that up, bro. He's going to bring out his Cerberus and mess you up. So this is a little bit of a recap, but they're doing a really good job with it because they're adding in like new content, you know? I did like the Walter Park arc. I hear people didn't like that arc that much, but I actually liked it a lot. I think I actually prefer that arc more than the Harvest Festival personally.
They're the next generation, man. Just like in the human world. This is a good episode, man. <laughs> Look at what's her name, Momonoki. Momonoki. <laughs> You wouldn't know because you don't ever go, Kalego. Ocho. Right? Talking about Ocho? Alright, let's see. Let's see if he actually went after Ocho. The data. Does he work for Kiriwo, bro? Okay, so he's not part of the school. Truly number two again. Is he part of that... So he's a member of the second faith, okay. So they do exist. That's what I thought, man. I was wondering if we were going to touch base on them. I didn't think it was going to be Ocho. I thought he might have been working for Kiriwo or something, but he's just doing this for his faith, bro? There it is, dude. Oh, it's time for him to use his bow, dude. Let's go, dude. Yo, this episode is hype. Damn. Oh, did he murder him, bro? They, the rest of your re your religious members. Like, dude, are they going to expand on the second... On this religion more or no? Alright, so he missed the vitals. <laughs> He's giving Robin some praise, bro. Let's go. Oh, he gets to try some of that liquor? My man's going to get drunk instantly. A they're playing bingo? Oh, boy. Bro, are there going to be any other numbers besides six, bro? This is going to be like six, 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 six. My man's going to get bingo. <laughs> First time being there, dude. Got bingo. <laughs> Yo, he doesn't want that, bro. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, we're going to expand on this a little bit. Is Kiriwo involved? Is it Ball? Who is it? It's Ball. They're using this religion to return to our origins. That's what Kiriwo and Ball's motives were, bro. It's Ball. Yup. I knew by the crossed legs, dude. Still a thorn in their side, bro. There was a mic on him the whole time? <gasps> Is he gonna learn he's human? Bro, are they gonna find out? Kiriwo. Bro, whenever they show this mofo, bro, he oh, dude. Look at this artistic direction with how they're showing him. There it is, bro. Oh no. Right, he pieced it together early on. We knew about it. He was the one that got Sullivan uh, held up with border control and all that. Dude, what a shock for him, bro. Is his rival or whatever. He called him his enemy or whatever, right? Arch nemesis or whatever. Oh. Why is he... Dude, this sadistic... Bro, his wings are coming out. So he wants to eat him now because he knows he's a human. That's why he's drooling. Bruh. He's getting a double dose of ecstasy right now. A hunt? Bro. Like, that's not going to happen in the final two episodes of this season, right? It's probably going to set up for that in season four, I'm guessing. 
Does Sullivan have a feeling? Does he have a clue that this is going down? Because remember, Sullivan was the one thrown into the whole ordeal with border control because of Baal. He probably was, like, investigating that, who, like, set him up, you know? Even though it's not set up, he did go in there illegally. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> yeah, my man's passed out. Wait, is Robin awake? He's the host, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's still crying in his sleep, dude. Oh my goodness, my man's dreaming of torture. 